Hello, this is Michael Jill, and today I'll be doing an unboxing and a review of this Speedle microphone. The model number is MCO2. You can buy this on Amazon over here for $80, and as you can see, there are four and a half stars right here from 30 different people. So uh, hopefully I'll be giving a little more feedback so that way you would have a better idea. You can also get it on eBay for a little bit cheaper if you go and search. I see one over here for $65.99 and you can make a best offer. I actually got one on eBay for pretty cheap actually. Um, I found a good deal. And so far I've been really liking these Speedle products, Speedl products, I have a bunch of their, uh, I guess, webcams and other devices. I have a radar detector made by them and a Android Auto device. And so far I've been liking it. We're gonna compare this product to a few other microphones that I have. I have this CM Tech Amazon one that I got for $20. And I actually like this microphone a lot. Um, so let's see how this compares versus this CM Tech product. I also have the Blue Snowball, which I will compare it to. The Blue Snowball costs $45, uh, brand new. So we'll compare it to that. Let's first take a look at the, uh, I guess, the claims that are made on the boxes. Um, the features are real-time monitoring, four recording patterns, adjustable audio gain, Type-C connection, information, and you have a QR code, and I think this is the Amazon um, sticker. Over here you have the specifications in English over there, and that's the power in and stuff like that. There are four recording modes. They call it recording patterns, but uh, here are the four modes, and we're going to look at that. We'll also have a little bit of information about what's in the box, and you've got Type-C cables, screw adapter and user manual and actual microphone and we're back to the beginning so let's open it up and I've been liking Speedle products mostly because the presentation is good it is wrapped up nicely in this foam I have to give them credit for the packaging if you open it up you'll see it is protected very well let's open this up and let me just take everything apart okay so here's what's in the box exactly what they said um, Let's talk about it. There's a user manual over here. We have a Type-C to Type-C cable right here, as you can see, uh, two Type-Cs. I assume it's USB 2.0. And over here you have a USB-A, which is USB 2.0, as you can see over here. And there are only four pins indicating it is indeed USB 2.0. And Type-C is probably 2.0 as well. Um, of course, a microphone doesn't need anything more than 2.0, so that's perfect. Um, over here you have the actual microphone. Uh, and over here you have the adapter and we're going to talk a little bit about each thing so let's just take a look at the user manual and if you want to uh, take a look at the instructions and try to show you some of that stuff okay and there we go. That's the English side, and then the other side is Chinese, so we don't need to worry about that side. Okay, um, we talked about the two cables, and we have the adapter over here. So first I'll talk about the adapter and what it's used for. On the bottom you have a little uh, spot over here, and that is meant for actually a tripod. And over here I have a Speedle tripod from a different product, actually that Speedle makes. And I'm going to show you, it just screws right in. Okay. And that's really nice because now you have a tripod and you don't have to rely on this mount or let's say you want it somewhere else. It is really convenient or can be really convenient. However, there are mounts that are bigger and I guess more universally used. And for that, you can use this adapter over here. And this makes it more compatible with other types of mounts. Um, this is a very big screw hole. Again, I'm not familiar with this mount, but I assume that it is something that is used. Okay, on the bottom over here, you have a headphone jack and this way you can hear everything that the microphone is picking up in real time so you can hear yourself talk which is nice i like the fact that they have type c and it's not micro and that's how the power is delivered through power and um uh besides for power also the transmission is made through USB C, uh, which is nice because that's the new standard and one for them all the model is mco2 and it's a special as here well as well um let's talk about the actual mount uh on the bottom you have it's a rubbery material, which is nice. It means it won't slip around a lot. Uh, if you pay close attention over here, you'll see there's a little bit of metal in there. And that's to keep this mount, um, I guess, with more uh, weight to it. So that way it doesn't fall over and it stays more secure. Over here you have probably the worst part of the design of this, in my opinion, is this plastic bracket over here. And this feels like it could crack fairly easily. So that's something that I don't like. 
um, but if it was made with metal, it would be a lot better. Uh, they have this screw, and it can tighten and loosen, so that way you can keep it in a certain position with more friction, and um, that's nice. Um, it seems pretty okay, uh, but if that does crack, you can always use the tripod mount, which is nice, uh, so that way you have a backup, um, I guess, holding position or power, whatever. Nice to have. It's got a microphone on top, a microphone in the front, and a microphone in the back. Um, I'm assuming that inside there are five receivers, four receivers, as it says. Um, okay, in the front you have a mute button. Now this is a digital mute and not an analog mute, which means that when the power is out, it actually will, um, it actually will go back to being unmuted, so regular. So every time your computer turns on and off, I assume this will turn off as well, unless you have an analog one. The CM Tech one actually. I'm not sure what it is, but it, it's always off no matter what, so it works out for me. Uh, people complain about this, and also people complain that this has cracked, so keep that in mind. Over here, you have the volume of your headphones. So the headphones that you have plugged in, this is the volume for it. And I assume this is something you're going to be using more often, so that's why um, it's here. In the back, you have more features, uh, which is nice. These are the different modes or patterns that you could pick up the audio, um, and they're just different ways of picking up, um, you know, meeting versus streaming versus interview, that type of thing. Uh, over here is the uh, sensitivity of the microphone. Um, I just want to say that all of these knobs, besides for this one, they feel like there is some, you know, feedback inside there, and I don't like it. Um, like it, it feels like there's something not so right with it, which um, I guess I'm a little bit. Uh, I guess that would be a, something that I would put on the con list, but yeah, it doesn't feel quite right. I don't know. Um, it works. It's it's okay. Like uh, I feel like this. Yeah, this feels a lot more smooth over here on the CM Tech one even, but uh, this doesn't feel as smooth. Okay, let's. Uh, I guess let's get it tested. Okay, now it's powered on with the cable that they provided. Actually, um, this cable has a nice amount of length to it. I think this. Uh, it's for sure more than three feet. I would say maybe five feet or six feet, which is nice. Um, if anyone cares about the dimensions, I can definitely answer someone in the comments. Um, over here you have the button, and it's either red or green. The green is really bright, by the way. Um, I don't know, I think it would bother me if it was actually facing up at me. Uh, but the red is not as bright. The, gr the green is really bright, I don't know. Maybe I'll put some tape over that or something. Okay. Um, over here we have, and then that's it. There's nothing else that happens when the microphone is powered on. No um, sounds, which is normal. Let me try to take you over to my computer so that we could go ahead and test the different uh, microphones against each other. It'll be a microphone war, and we'll see which one is victorious. Okay, guys, I'm by my computer now using OBS with my Speedle MCO2 microphone. And up on the screen is my thumbnail that I plan on using for this video. My stapler is showing a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. When you first put in your Speedle microphone, you should be able to find it really easily. Um, in OBS and it is under Speedo USB live mic so it shows up really well really easily so it is definitely plug and play and as you can see right here it also shows up in my microphone app in Windows as you can see it says Speedo in the parentheses so the headphone jack in the front I figured out is actually uh, not only lets you hear your own voice as you talk as I blow into the microphone I could totally hear it in the headphones from the headphone jack on the Speedo microphone, but I could also hear audio from the computer, which is nice if you are like streaming a game or a podcast or whatever it is. It is a nice thing to be able to hear all the audio. So I had problems when I was actually um, streaming before that I wasn't able to hear the audio, and this is a great solution. So I'm very happy about that. And on my headphones, the volume that I have on the headphone part of the Speedo microphone is at one third maybe and i know you can't hear it but for me that i think that's the best and now i'm going to the back and the sensitivity on the microphone is just very low i'm going to turn a little bit higher okay now the sensitivity is on the third ball and there are seven balls okay uh there is a mute button i'm going to test it out right now and i'm going to mute in three two one We're back on. So if you didn't hear me in the mean in the in between, that means the mute button definitely worked. Um, okay, let's uh, try the different modes, I guess. 
I think you're supposed to be talking from the front of it where it says Beetle. There's also a little microphone on top. So I think those microphones turn on depending on what, um, what uh, I guess, mode you're using. So right now, right now I am in the upside down heart mode, which is called cardioid. I'm talking into the front. I'm talking into the top. I'm talking into the back. I'm talking into the back of the microphone when it's on the cardioid, cardioid um, upside down heart. And this one says it's pi direct. It, it's uh, it's single direction, good for streaming and podcasts. So this should not be good audio. Let's turn it onto the circle. And the circle is omnidirectional where it gets it from all directions. And right now I'm in back, right now I'm on top. And right now I'm in front and it should all sound the same because it's omnidirectional. Now I'm gonna switch it to the eight or the two loops on top of each other and that's bi-directional. I'm in the back with the bi-directional. I'm on top with bi-directional. And now I'm in the front with bi-directional. And I'm holding the mic so that's why it's making a lot of noise. But I'm in the front and I put down the mic. Okay. Now let's do the last setting which is stereo. Okay. We're on stereo, mic is down, I'm talking from the back. We're on stereo, I'm holding the mic and I'm talking to the top. We're in stereo mode and I'm talking from the front. So that's what you hear. I'm gonna turn the sensitivity up a little bit. And I'm gonna keep on talking regularly. And as you can hear, my voice gets really loud. And I'm gonna turn it lower so that it's back to normal. I even hear it getting really loud, all right. Okay, so this is the quality that you'll hear from the Speedle MCO2. And now I'm going to uh, stop using the Speedle and I'm gonna switch over to the CM Tech. And now I'm switched over to the CM Tech microphone. And as you can see, it costs $17. I bought it a few years ago and it cost 20, so it went down in price. And there are a bunch of different models. I remember there being one without the sensitivity, um, the sensitivity uh, dial. Um, it might be a little bit high now because I'm pretty close to it. So I'm going to turn this dial a little lower. And it also has a mute button on it, as you can see. And I'm going to mute it in 3, 2, 1. I am back now. Um, so as you can see, it also has that function of having a mute button, which is really nice. Um, and it's relatively cheap. And if you think this sounds exactly the same as the Speedle one, then definitely should not be spending the extra money. Unless it's the same price, then it might be worth it. Um, or if you want to have the headphone jack, or if you want to have the control over your headphone or which direction you want it, or you just think it looks better, then it might be worth it. But otherwise, this one gets pretty good ratings and it looks very nice. And this is the CM Tech microphone that I used. I never had any issues with it, except if you turn the volume high, you'll hear the static. You'll hear how it is not very clear, but on lower, medium, regular volumes, it's good. It also only gets one person talking. So if you're having two people talking, maybe it's a problem. But uh, I definitely recommend this. Okay, and now we are switched over to the Blue Snowball. The Blue Snowball is actually a very popular microphone. Um, a lot of people recommend it for a long time. As you can see, this one is a little bit yellowed because it has been used for so long, not by me, but by someone else, and people swear by it. So, um, yeah, it looks kind of interesting. It, the black one for sure looks nicer, um, but it doesn't have that cool vibe or that professional vibe, I guess, um, that you could have. It has cool feet that like kind of uh, get really big, and it says blue all over it. The head is huge. Um, and there are no buttons on it. There's no mute button in the back. Sorry. In the back, there's a thing that says one, two, three. It uses USB uh, A to USB. It's called, I believe it's called USB B. Um, and that was like an old printer connector, connector that everyone used to use. As you can see, the neck retracts a little bit and goes up a little bit. Um, you see the little neck over there. Uh, goes up and down. So it's not super compact, but, um, you know, if you are using it all the time, it could be worth it. So... Uh, this one costs forty-five dollars. The CM Tech one costs seventeen dollars, and the Speedle one can cost anywhere from like I got it for less than thirty bucks. So you can you can also get it for less than thirty dollars, the Speedle one. But if you're paying seventy, eighty dollars for it, then it could be that I just got a, I got really lucky. But if you're paying sixty-five, seventy-five, eighty dollars for it, then it may be a worthwhile buy if you like what you heard. And if you think it's a good, Spiel was a good company. For some reason, their stuff on eBay has been going really cheap recently. I don't know why, but uh, I took advantage of it. And I think this, I think that the Spiel one's probably better than the blue and better than the CM Tech. But if you don't need it, then don't buy it. You can upgrade later. And it's always good to have a cheap microphone around. 
if you ever need it. If you're just looking to buy something just so that people could hear you, CM Tech is good. If you're looking for something for a podcast, uh, maybe the Spiel or the Blue Snowball would be good uh, because it has a headphone jack. But uh, anyway, I hope this helped you. And I know this video is not super professional, but I'm doing my best and I work really hard on this video. So if you can like and subscribe, comment, that'll be really very helpful for me I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. So um, if you could help me out, that'd be great. And hopefully I can make more videos for you. If you want to see anything different or want to see anything uh, being made, any videos being made about anything, please let me know and I'll try to make it happen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.